Uh, my name is Victor and I'm Romanian. Thanks for the support. It's very nice to be in this country. Okay. Um, don't worry about the Romanian thing, because uh, it's it's a new concept for me being Romanian. Because uh, uh, when I was back home, I was just a guy. <laughs> Left the country, became Romanian. <laughs> Came over here, became Polish. <laughs> Dreamed that one day I'm gonna go to the United States and become Mexican. <laughs> so far, just Romanian. Uh, uh, I look white, I'm not white. Okay. I'm Romanian. <laughs> Romanian uh, takes, being Romanian takes my white male privilege down the peg. <laughs> right? So I'm a, I might be a white guy, but I'm a, I have a Romanian passport. It's, uh, it's like being a Rolex watch, but from China. <laughs> uh, wasted potential. Uh, I'm a lazy Romanian. Uh, don't worry, I didn't come here to work. <laughs> Just came here to tell stupid jokes. I came here with a heart full of dreams. Just a backpack full of clothes and an asshole full of drugs. Uh, I uh, grew, up, uh, grew up in Romania. I grew up a uh, Christian Orthodox. No. Oh. Did anyone else grow up the correct religion? <laughs> Oh my god, the guys are gonna have fun in hell. <laughs> Just hanging out with each other, but without me. <laughs> because I was lucky enough to be born in Romania. <laughs> That's the joke, thank you very much. <laughs> I grew up with people telling me that it's a sin to be lazy. I don't think it's a sin to be lazy. I think it's godlike. like <laughs> yes, man, if you think about it, God, kind of lazy. <laughs> what did he do? He worked for six days. He's <laughs> been arresting ever since. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Kanye West brings out an album every year. <laughs> what the fuck is God doing? <laughs> Saving the queen? <laughs> From what? <laughs> Probably her husband. <laughs> Dangerous man. <laughs> I, I don't know what God's doing, man. Like, I know he held Maradona in the 80s, uh, scored a goal. <laughs> Other than that, what the fuck is he doing? There's children somewhere in the world right now, masturbating for the first time. God's not here, guys. He's <laughs> over there. Okay. Making sure he's, they're doing it properly. <laughs> I think Jesus, Jesus was uh, was real, right? And I think I had to identify with Jesus, man, because I think Jesus was lazy as well. <laughs> no, like father, like son. <laughs> Jesus was lazy, man. Jesus was supposed to be a carpenter two thousand years ago. What the fuck was he carpenting? <laughs> Crosses uh, for other people, uh, and you can think about that. The cross is the simplest carpenting there is. It's just two pieces of wood. An IKEA table is more complicated than a cross. What the fuck was Jesus doing all day long? Probably getting hammered. <laughs> Transform water into wine. He was a superhero. Jesus was a, the first superhero. He's not marble, he's not DC, he's Holy Scripture. <laughs> like, out of all his superpowers, you have to admit, the stupidest superpower that Jesus had was the walking on water. Have you been on water? There's nothing there. There's no shops, there's no tourist attractions. There's no other people. What is Jesus doing in the middle of a lake? No one can around. I think that the walking on 
want to think. It kind of proves my point that Jesus was lazy. Because Jesus didn't want to walk around the water. He wanted to walk across it and not take anyone with him. Jesus, you're a carpenter. Build a fucking boat. Take some people with you. Jesus Christ. I can't listen to those people anymore, right? Like Jesus, he lived 2,000 years ago. He didn't know about TikTok. <laughs> Think about it. Jesus didn't know about tomatoes. Tomatoes were brought to this side of the world 400 years ago. Jesus didn't know about ketchup. I'm supposed to listen to that guy? He didn't know about beans. He didn't know about potatoes. He didn't know about Romanians. <laughs> Romanians were not invented when Jesus was alive. I'm supposed to listen to this guy? A fucking virgin? <laughs> Think about it, Jesus was a virgin. I don't want to take life advice from a virgin. <laughs> Mohammed, 13 wives. Now that's a guy some life. That's a guy with some life experience, right? What? I shouldn't marry 13 women at the same time? Thank you, Mohammed. <laughs> Jesus died a virgin at 33. Mohammed was married to an entire rugby team. <laughs> right? I don't know. There's something in us, in human nature. We don't like virgins. <laughs> no, maybe you like virgins? <laughs> Why don't you fuck them? Because <laughs> they're disgusting. <laughs> the most awkward thing you will do in your entire life. Like, <laughs> just sit there like covered. <laughs> and you're like the chef going in. <laughs> And then they go, ah, they're fine, I'm gonna fuck them. <laughs> and then everyone else can trust you. <laughs> right? That's why the first time should be with someone from outside your family. <laughs> right? Because otherwise it's nepotism. It's a conflict of interest. <laughs> Jesus, his mother, <laughs> you know the story of Virgin Mary? She was a virgin at conception. When Jesus was conceived, she was a virgin still, because God has the longest penis in the world, <laughs> but he's very slim, very slender, it's like a catheter, it's like this cord. <laughs> Like it's long enough that it comes away all from the heavens, down to earth, goes inside this lady's vagina, inseminates it, but doesn't do any damage. That's why we have the story that Mary was a virgin when Jesus was conceived. Because she wasn't a virgin after Jesus was born, because he broke that pussy in two. Am I right, sir? Yeah. Damn it, the vagina, come on. Imagine what baby Jesus did to a virgin vagina? He came out like this. <laughs> right? <laughs> the way that I'm thinking about Mary's hymen is <laughs> not the aluminum foil on paracetamol. <laughs> you know you can stick your finger in there 
But again, also push the pill out. <laughs> no, I think what I'm trying to say is that the miracle of the virgin birth was that uh, baby Jesus deflowered his mother. <laughs> I understand some of you might be religious. It's weird, but. I don't know, man. I, I, I started rethinking all sorts of things that I grew up with, God being one of them. I don't think we need God. Right? Like people say that we still need God in order to know what's good and bad. I think, as a, as, us, all of us, as a society, we're so much better than God. <laughs> Sorry, you so? <laughs> Think about it, man. Like, as a society, we evolve, we change our mind, we get better with time. My mom still believes in God, which is weird because she's a woman. They don't like her. My mom believing in God is like a snail believing in salt. <laughs> or Will Smith believing in his wife. <laughs> people that much. I think people are amazing. Look around. Isn't this amazing? Can you imagine if you saw cats doing this? A bunch of cats just sitting on chairs staring at another cat meowing. You'd be like, what the fuck's wrong with the cats? Why are they all facing the same way? Why have they crucified one of the cats two thousand years ago? Because people, I don't know why we don't trust other people. Think about it. You know you go to a kebab shop? and they put like sauce on your kebab. Do you know how much cum is in that sauce? <laughs> Not a lot. Just a little bit. Just enough so that the people have a laugh. But you don't get sick. Aren't people amazing? You know when you go on a date and you trust strangers with their teeth around your genitals? At the end of the evening, you still have your genitals. Super amazing, guys. Trying to understand, trying to understand more. Trying to understand the English. This uh, is ridiculous. Yeah, he's laughing, because uh, they are, right? I don't understand how those people manage to take over half of the planet with the mind that eats garlic bread with pizza. <laughs> Such a thing is ridiculous. Garlic bread with pizza, you don't find it. What? Are you poor? Did you grow up blind? <laughs> Why would you eat inferior pizza as a side to proper pizza? It's like having curry verse with a side of verse. <laughs> you know they're the same thing what garlic bread is? It's bread with garlic on it. You know what pizza is? Better. Why would you have them together? To me, having garlic bread with pizza is like having sex with a supermodel and her twin Brother. <laughs> Just enjoy the supermodel. You have the guy tomorrow. Why do it now? Uh, as uh, uh, Darmander uh, was saying, uh, I live in London. Uh, anyone from London here? Yeah. Go back to your country. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. Now. in London, right? I make friends there. Sometimes people get excited when they hear I'm from Romania. They go, what? You're from Romania? I know someone from Czechoslovakia. <laughs> I don't know how that's relevant, but you know, their heart is in the right place. Right? After seven years in living in London, it's been, it's been quite a journey. Do you want to know my favorite thing in London? Yeah. The Romanian shop close to my house. <laughs> I was so excited when they opened. Because I finally get to buy Romanian stuff, like Romanian water. I don't trust the British water. I want Romanian H3O. <laughs> so I'm all happy, all giddy to get the stuff that I want from home. I go into the shop, I get the stuff, I go to the till to pay. Turkish guy. <laughs> he didn't even speak Romanian. <laughs> what is this world coming to? When you can't even have a Romanian shop without being taken over by fucking immigrants. <laughs> Don't even speak the language. You know what I had to do? Speak English to the guy. Can you imagine that? 
in a Romanian shop. <laughs> if my grandfather was alive today, <laughs> and he knew I had to speak English in a Romanian shop, he would have let the Nazis win. <laughs> Nobody would be speaking English. Come on, guys, we're in the basement. Nazi jokes, right? Come on. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know it's weird, I know it's weird I can speak English because I've learned the language from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah. Would have gotten better, the English language, if it wasn't for those meddling kids. <laughs> Still trying to figure out the language because it's complex, there's a lot of words, like a uh, dick pic. <laughs> you know dick pic? Yeah. Apparently not the same thing as a selfie. <laughs> it's an actual photo of a penis, not my face. But have you ever wondered, is the opposite of a dick pic, of a jimmage? <laughs> Could be, right? Hashtag for jimmage, trending right now. But that's the thing with the English language, man, it's complex, right? There's a lot of things happening at the same time. I think that's why people have misunderstanding in English. I was talking to someone the other day, they told me that they believe that people should stay in the place that they were born. But that would make my mom's vagina pretty busy, right? <laughs> It's already crowded as it is. But imagine if I hang around with my brothers and sisters all bottled up in there, like with pickles in a jar. Right? Then my mom would have to stay in her mom's vagina. Her mom stay in her mom's vagina. Her mom stay in her mom. That's how Russian dolls were invented. Now, I'll, I'll have to be honest with you guys. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this in English is because I can't go back to Romania. Uh, they don't speak English over there. <laughs> so I'm kind of stuck, right? I don't know any other, uh, any other languages. I did try to learn Spanish. Uh, it didn't really work out. Uh, do we have any Spanish people in here? Oh, that's nice. One single Spanish person in 150 people. You're right, what's your name? Kiki. Ah, oh, Kiki, do you love me? <laughs> Another song? Yeah, it's a good song. All right, that's, that's very nice. Uh, where are you from Spain? Where, where about? Mallorca. Oh, that's very nice. Oh. That's, where the, that's where the British people hang out. <laughs> Have you seen British people? They're all pink, going, oi, oi, savaloi. <laughs> This is lovely of you. This is, I feel like we're, we're becoming friends. This is, this is very nice. Because uh, uh, what's happening with the rest of the Spanish people in your country? I have no idea. I'm right? Because like, I see the Spanish come into London, right? They come into the main train station, they get out, they're confused by roads. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, I understand Chinese tourists. <coughs> Chinese tourists, they come from the other side of the world. It's morning there now. <laughs> right? They come to Europe, they see the letter A, B, and C, they're confused. They go like, we don't have A, B, and C in, in China. Right? But the Spanish, what the fuck's wrong with them? <laughs> like, you seem very, very nice. You're, you're totally fine, but guys, I have a proposition. <laughs> Please let me know if you find this too much. Uh, I think we should get rid of the Spanish. <laughs> as a country really is because of an eye here and an eye here what the fuck am I the back of an iPhone <laughs> do you know how the Eskimos put their old people on a boat and just push them out into the ocean <laughs> when they don't need them we should do the same with the Spanish come on we don't even need a boat just let them drown in the Mediterranean how they let the African refugees drown in the Mediterranean oh. you don't like the Spanish now no, 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 I agree, I agree. It's too much, right, to murder all the Spanish, except Kiki, right? Okay, you're nice, loving, kind people, of course. Please, let me know. Why should we keep them? Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Tapas, really? Tapas. Tapas in Barcelona? Barcelona is not even in Spain. <laughs> they want out. Right? Who said tapas? Really? Leftovers? <laughs> That's why you should keep the people. We have the recipe. We don't need the Spanish. <laughs> Rioja, Rioja. What? Rioja. What's that? <laughs> Is that wine? Oh, really? 
because no one else invented wine. <laughs> we really need the Spanish people to put fruit in it. <laughs> wine is already made out of fruit. <laughs> have you heard their language, the Spanish language? <laughs> you know when you get down with someone and you have like cum in your mouth? <laughs> and you're trying not to let the cum just fall out of your mouth when you're closed? That's the Spanish language. <laughs> I tried to learn the language, right? I bought a book, right? The first thing they were trying to teach me in Spanish in that book was the following phrase. Donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> you know what that means? Where's the library? Why the hell would I go to the library? But <laughs> I don't know the language. <laughs> what am I gonna do in a Spanish library? <laughs> Studying Spanish literature in a foreign language? That's why I bought the book. Teach me the language first. <laughs> right? Teach me useful things first. Teach me how to say, where's the bathroom? How's the economy? I don't want to learn it now. <laughs> All I want to know is why was Spain fascist of 1970 fucking five? <laughs> right? Because the Italians were fascist till 45, but they gave us pizza and espresso. <laughs> Guys, uh, I don't know if you've uh, managed to figure this out, but I don't actually mean to murder the Spanish. <laughs> oh, you thought it was a good idea? <laughs> Let's talk to the Germans and get their shit organized. <laughs> Guys, 